Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying home run in pizza. This is the uncured pepperoni pizza. Uh, it is a one pound, 11 ounce pizza, but it was only $6.99 at Meyer, which I think is a really, really good price. So it says... Look, the pepperonis are actually really nicely laid out. They are. That's You're unusual. Right. <laughs> that is very unusual. You're right. Usually we have to spread them, but normally there's cheese falling off and you also have to spread the cheese and or fix the cheese and stuff like that too. So this is a completely different pizza. It says uh, our pizza is partially baked and the cheese is melted covering the sauce. Um, so you ba uh, preheat your oven at 450 degrees and you want to set uh, set this on the middle oven rack and you want to bake it for 15 to 17 minutes so you do not get a piece of cardboard uh, but that's okay uh, we're going to bake ours for 17 minutes and then we'll be back so it looks absolutely perfect after uh, 17 minutes it has a nice little crisp edge, it looks like. And I do love how the pepperoni are like perfectly lined up because yeah. you don't get that very no, often. Usually they're all over the place. Ever. I don't think we've ever had any other pizza to where it's like that part. Right out of the box. Yeah. So Kevin's gonna cut us some and we're gonna put it on a plate and we'll take it over to the table and give it a try. Okay, it says, a family with a dream. Our family came from Italy in the 1920s with a dream to connect people over pizza. In 1947, when they served square cut snack sized pizza at our Southside Chicago Tavern, across from local baseball fields, the neighborhood was thrilled. It was love at first bite. The family dream came true and the world of pizza was never the same. Years later, our same family recipe from 1947 is making its way throughout the country and we couldn't be more proud. Staying true to our roots, we hope you open up a cold drink and enjoy your pie while watching the ball game with your family. Made from scratch, simple ingredients, um, it says our family motto is simple. If we can't pronounce it, we won't use it. That sounds like a good motto, motto I know to me. Lots of things I can't pronounce. Well, that tastes really good. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, we take this one step further by making each of our pizzas from scratch daily, starting with our buttery, flaky crust and finishing with premium all natural toppings. Simple ingredients that come from the farmers we trust. You really do smell the crust mm, itself. It's a, it's a yeasty smell and it is flaky when you're cutting, when I was cutting it, you saw little pieces coming off. Now, don't fall off your chairs because this is a high calorie pizza. It's probably one of the highest calorie pizzas. Yes, it's 440 calories a slice. Yeah. So what you see here is 440 calories a slice. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of calories. I mean, that's not counting like pizzeria, like going out to eat pizzas. Those might even be higher. No, but, they probably are. But I'm just saying for a bacon home pizza, that's pretty high. It's high. I can tell you what though, this it's, is heavier. It's heavy. It is noticeably heavier than other pizzas that we are used to buying. So I wonder if I can take a huge bite. I've got faith in your mouth. Mm-hmm. 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 That is really good. That's good. You you still get a really strong cheese flavor. You do. They eat some good. really nice cheese. They do. I agree. Uh, we've reviewed their cheese pizza. So if you missed that video, that's why I always make sure I read the back of the box again. If you wonder, why does she read that every time? Well, if you're a loyal viewer, you hear it every time. Mm -hmm. But if you just happen to come to YouTube and stop in on this video, you wouldn't have heard that story before. And I would want you to know how long they've been around. Um, but in the video with the cheese, I said this tastes like uh, an amusement park. There's an amusement park called Kings Island. Yeah. Back it wasn't a amusement park food though. It was like really good. It was food. really good. Like back in the 80s. I don't know how it is now. But back in the 80s, it was really, really good pizza. Really mm -hmm. good. This is what that reminds me of. I was thinking about, I've had, me and, when me and Andrew and Ashley went, mm -hmm. and you didn't go with us that time, um, it had gone downhill a little bit. Mm -hmm. but, but it used to when we were kids, mm -hmm. it was like pizzeria quality pizza. Yeah, so really when I good. say that, 
I'm giving them a compliment. Yeah. Um, it's not a dig at all. It's actually a, a, a compliment because it was really good back in the 80s. Back when they cared. <laughs> no, I don't know how I taste these days. I'd say they're trying to save some money nowadays. Uh -huh. That pepperoni is nice. It's not a spicy pepperoni. I'm going to eat one by itself. Honestly, I'm tasting the the uh, sauce more tonight than I was in the video previously. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. Mm -hmm. um, it just, it, it's an excellent sauce, mm -hmm. excellent cheese. Brilliant. I don't understand though, why this is 40 additional calories per slice. I mean, does pepperoni add that many calories to make it 40 more calories? Because the cheese one was 400 calories a slice. So for this to go up to 440, it's like, wow, there was only two pieces of pepperoni yeah, on like there. Like two or three pieces on each yeah. one. Yeah. Um, I ate the pepper pepperoni by itself. When you're eating it with the pizza, mm -hmm. it all kind of blends in and, and kind of gets lost a little bit. Mm -hmm. When you eat it by itself though, it's um, it's got a little spice to it. It's got a little, not burn really, but it's got a little spice to it. There's a little seasoning in there. Um, it really, I mean, it adds to the pizza for sure, but when you eat it by itself, it's really, like, really nice. I love that. Yeah, it's good. Now I want more pepperoni on it and know. make it more calories. <laughs> that pepperoni is delicious. Mm -hmm. I would have never, from my first bite, because the sauce and the cheese are so good yeah. and those are really strong. Yeah, I'm my uh, throat, there's some sp spice mm -hmm. in there. Um, I mean, it's not like flaming hot, but it's definitely like a Give peppery, a peppery flavor. Yeah, mm. um, peppery tingle to it. Uh, but my first bite of pepperoni, well, you just tasted the cheese and the sauce so strong that it, it, it got lost, which mm. surprises me because it is spicy. Um, but eating it by itself, I love it. Mm. Like I would buy those pepperoni slices and eat them like on their own. No, they're really, really with good. With cheese and a cracker. That the, would be good. The crust, when well, you see I ate a whole slice. Um, there's not 440 calories. Um, the um, the crust in the back, it's got a really good crunchy texture to it, and it is and it is flaky. So there's nothing wrong with any of this pizza. This whole thing is really, really nice. It has the cheese. It delivers on the crust. I love the flavor of that, that, that yeasty yeah, yeah, flavor. It, it almost tastes like it's it's a, a roll or something. But yes. Yep. Yeah. And so, the, the only thing is, is you have to be ready for a splurge because... Yeah, you just have to be willing to eat the calories. Because there are other pizzas out there that are they're completely different, but uh, they're thinner crust, and they are a lot fewer calories. Right. So if you buy this, you just have to know it's a, it's going to be a splurge for you. Right. So which would be like better? If the cheese or this one? Oh, that's a hard choice because when you eat the pepperoni all together mm -hmm. with it... It you kind of does get lost. Mm -hmm. So unless you're eating the pepperoni by itself, honestly, there's no reason for it. Yeah, so that, I'm that was my exact comment I was going to say. So I'm just going to go for the cheese because mm -hmm. why not go for 400 calories a slice? Why go for 440 when you really don't even know it's there unless you're eating by itself? That's, so, that's exactly what I was. So I'd say. rather just eat the cheese. I, I would save the 40 calories, eat uh -huh. the cheese because yeah. while the pepperoni is excellent pepperoni it kind of gets lost when you're eating it with the pizza. So um, it's still really good. It just doesn't, it doesn't stand out enough to where it, it would take the place to be 40 calories. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it's good pizza. If you I get them I in your area, for sure, try them out if you Yeah, have. I wish I knew the brand of that pepperoni because like I would buy that brand yeah. um, if I if sold it in the stores because that is really, mm -hmm. um, nice. it's nice pepperoni. And it's got that cup. It's the cup. Yes. Kind of, so it, it kind of, Yes. So this is this is an awesome pizza, and yep. the price. Yeah, you can't beat the price. I mean, my goodness, that's that's cheap for all you're getting mm -hmm. here. Really, you're getting. It's a, a big pizza. Deal. This is really me and Tammy usually split it. Um, you could feed like we eat it normally half and half. Um, you could do three people with this one pretty easily. You could two slices each. Um, I did, I said in the last video, if you happen to watch it, I said I would ask our daughter Ashley, which was her favorite because she only buys home running pizza. Mm -hmm. She doesn't buy anything else. She said that uh, this one 
the pepperoni the, this one or the pepperoni and sausage mm -hmm. i guess there's a pepperoni and sausage she said this one or pepperoni and sausage but she her. adds like banana peppers to her she does she adds banana peppers to it that sounds uh, but she said she said i always eat half of it right so she she always eats half of it regardless of the calories yeah. so uh, yeah if you have skipped over this brand hopefully you'll give it a try we yeah if you thought it was cheap or something you know because of the price you thought it wasn't gonna be good it's really it's good. very good and like it, we still have two more to try mm -hmm. so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching